all right we're down to our final two rebuilds we have the astros and then we have today's rebuild the kansas city royals if you guys missed yesterday's rebuild of the phillies it's right here go and click that little icon it'll take you to that video so i know we had the kansas city royals franchise that we kind of had going for a little bit the thing was i just wasn't consistent enough with it and i just kind of lost interest in it so that's why we don't have that kansas city royals series going anymore but we got our fill today we got the rebuild on the channel and i'm looking forward to it you know bobby Wynn jr is drafted they got mondesi they got a lot of a good they got some young pieces that could really make this team pretty solid so let's hop into it let's have some fun remember guys if you guys are enjoying the rebuild still make sure you hit the like button down below let's try to aim for 500 i feel like that's a that's a pretty attainable number with how many of you guys re, uh, watch the rebuilds if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit the subscription button we're approaching 15,000 to hit that by the end of the month would be amazing all right so yeah let's hop into it it's been it's been a while since we've had a, a something royal on the channel and let's talk about the squad because there are some players i do like I, I really like some of these players um i'm using a new roster by the way the name of the roster this is what you're gonna search osfm osfm 4.0 v4 so osfm 4.0 v4 it'll be on the screen like down here that's what you're gonna search to find this roster i decided you know what maybe we switch it up a little bit see if we can find a new roster um and see how it is so as you guys can see starting lineup or starting pitching you know it's not too bad it's it could definitely be a little bit better danny duffy kind of got a gross contract that's definitely one that i want to get rid of but we got scoglin who i know in real life just got banned for peds but han lopez sparkman phil meyer they're all b potential they're in their mid-20s so they should grow and we, we could have a decent rotation there um bullpen definitely needs a little bit of help um closing pitching could probably use a little bit of help too catchers we should be fine we got perez we got maldonado gallagher sussick we got melendez valoria we're good on catchers we're, we're good first base ryan o'hearn we'll see how he does if he does well we'll keep him if not, we'll be looking somewhere else. Nicky Lopez at second, I think, is going to be a great second baseman for us as long as he develops. At third, we'll see how Hunter Dozier does. Um, you know, he's definitely got some power. We also do have Kelvin Gutierrez, who is definitely a possibility as well. At short, we're set. Mondesi and Bobby Witt Jr. I definitely want to get Bobby Witt Jr. involved uh, when you, get, you see his stats. Hitting stats will need to improve, definitely. Um, but I feel like we can make that happen. Left field. Alex Gordon usually retires after a season, so we'll keep him for the year, and then we'll let him walk. We got Brett Phillips behind him, who I think is its like a like-for-like like replacement. A good fielder, not necessarily known for his bat. Center field, Billy Hamilton's not bad. We'll see how he does. If he does well, we'll keep him. If not, we'll let him go. Bubba Starlin's a bust, so we'll probably need a backup if uh, Billy Hamilton doesn't work. And then in right, we do have Whit Merrifield. We have Jorge Soler, Jorge Bonifacio. We got Suli Matias. We got a lot of right field options. I know we can move Witt back to second, but in real life, Witt made the switch to outfield. So we're gonna we're gonna see how that plays out. We're gonna see how he does there. Uh, we'll let Soler be our DH, um, and then we'll just we'll just kind of work with it from there. I definitely want to make some changes, mostly to the pitching. So let's see what we could do. I think I think we don't need too many changes but in real life i know the royals are pretty bad so who knows we we, we probably will need to make a, a few changes all right first trade it's literally just to get rid of this horrible danny duffy contract three years 15 million each year it's just gross so nick heath and jake newberry are also being traded for drew smiley of the rangers one year deal stats aren't terrible um he'll most likely be our four or five starter so Alrighty, next trade. I know we just did the Phillies, but we need to get rid of Ian Kennedy's contract. It's pretty bad. 16 million, two seasons. Who's giving out these contracts? But Jason Guzman and Gabriel Cancel is going to be traded for Tommy Hunter. Just a year. It, it's not a terrible, you know, reliever to get. Alrighty, so I think this is gonna be the last trade that we do. We're gonna go for Ryan Barucki of the Blue Jays for Homer Bailey, Jesse Hahn. Jesse Hahn's one of our older pitchers. That isn't really high rated. And then Samir Duenas. So that's the team. Let me mix it around. I'll show you guys what we're working with for season one. Okay, so I can see why the Royals are struggling in real life. 
because they got some decent players they're just not ready yet so let's take a look let's take a look i'll show you i'll show you what i'm talking about so when you see the team we got mondesi who needs to develop we got o'hearn dozier solaire nikki lopez they need to develop some more so we, we have a good young core they're just not good enough yet and i mean we got some good players in the farm system as well brett phillips like i've mentioned Sully matias kelvin gutierrez like there's some names down there that are definitely you know a few seasons away from being mlb ready and then when you look at the pitching like brad keller develops well jake junis develops well um Baraki, i know usually develops well we got ben lively who's in his you know 20s that b potential needs to develop and you just a lot of players need to develop here their entire pitching core just needs to develop um we got brady singer who's just you know what three seasons four seasons away from being ready to be in the bigs so they have a decent young core just we need to make some moves and the thing is i don't want to trade away too many of our good players to acquire those good like even better players that's what i'm trying to say so we have a good young core it's going to take time to develop them and that's why i didn't want to make too many trades because the trades that i want to make would require getting rid of some prospects that i don't want to so this is the team not too many changes i think we're gonna do horrible i really do i think with this this is gonna be a very rough season all right when i say i have a good draft class i mean one i don't say that very often but two if i say we're having a good draft class boy do we got a good one let's look at this brandon matsuzaka 99 potential 73 overall nice 89 potential 73 overall for ken judd nice we got 90 potential for Lester Moyer and then Boone Kimura 90 potential so these two guys are a little bit of a stretch but whoo these first two picks 273s with 89 and 90 potential oh I like to see that so you remember how I said we were gonna be bad I, I <laughs> I'm wrong <laughs> I'm wrong that's the scary part there I'm wrong um 87 and 75 we won the division taking on the Mariners so let's let's take a look see what happens so Drew Smiley had the most shutouts okay so he doesn't look like a too bad of a, a addition Adalberto Mondesi hit 30 home runs 107 RBIs almost 280 average I mean that's amazing to see from the shortstop 30 home runs Billy Hamilton was a little bit of a letdown so for him he's probably not coming back we'll have to wait and see Whit Merrifield um, we'll take a look at his stats, but I mean, actually, it's it's not a terrible stats at all by Billy Hamilton standards, but I think there's going to be better center fielders available. Whit Merrifield, not a bad season at all. Um, Ryan O'Hearn, 33 homers with 80 RBIs. I'll take that for sure. Dozier, same thing, almost 40 home runs, 103 RBIs, almost 280 average as well. These two are going to be our first and third baseman for sure. Salvador Perez is good. 23 homers, almost 100 RBIs. It's looking like the offense came to play. Even Alex Gordon hit 22 home runs. That might be a career high for him. Oh, no, 23. But still, where's this power coming from? Um, Jorge Soler was a very good outfielder for us this year. 320 average, 400 on base percentage. And even Nicky Lopez didn't do too poorly either. On the bench, um, meh. You know, meh. Um, Brad Keller, ERA is a little high. Whip's a little high as well, but not terrible. Drew Smiley looks like he was being, he was a decent little pickup for us. I kind of like this. ERA and Whip's a little high, but wins and losses, pretty solid. You know, not not terrible. Barucky, definitely want to improve that ERA and Whip. Same with Junis and Skogland. So it looks like everybody, everybody needs a little bit of improvement in the starting rotation. Lively struggled a little bit. Jake Diekman struggled a little bit. As you can see, he's no longer in the setup role. Drew Storen was not terrible. That's actually too, that's pretty respectable. Uh, McCarthy, man, eh. the whip's low. I do like that whip. It's just the ERA is kind of bad. Tim Hill, very solid in this setup role. 270 ERA with a 1.1 whip. I like that. I like that a lot. And then Brad Boxberger, not bad in this setup role. And Tommy Hunter didn't do too poorly for us in that closing spot either so a player i want to keep my eyes on we got daniel lynch okay that's not terrible those are those are some nice looking stats brady singer's moving up as well um we got all these guys here who are slowly developing 
as well. So let's take let's take a look. Any any of these guys? Matias is up to a 64. Uh, Brett Phillips 72. Gutierrez 70. All right. We got Bobby Witt up to a 73. So definitely some growth there. But offensively, it looks like the team is very very strong. Pitching wise, that's that's our big question mark. That's where we definitely need to we need to raise that bar. So let's hop into the playoffs. See how things go against the Mariners here and facing elimination i mean to be honest this is already an imp like better than what i was expecting i was expecting us to be like way down here and we're actually we're actually doing pretty solid so i'm not gonna freak out if we get knocked out right now um but i definitely want to see a, a little bit of a fight as i say that they take a two nothing lead and we get out of that bases loaded jam so that was that was lucky billy hamilton is on second we just couldn't take advantage of it. So uh, we get a walk. Okay. First and second, no outs. Bases loaded. Sack fly. I'll take that. Another run scores. We're at, we're at a tie game. Couldn't take advantage of that bases loaded situation. A little, little disappointed on that. Little, a little disappointed on that, um, that we couldn't take advantage of it. But so far, I mean, it's not terrible. Jake Junis still has a decent amount of stamina. King Felix is slowly decreasing. So if we can get him out, maybe take advantage of their bullpen, that'd be kind of nice. So Dozier, someone get on. We need someone to start getting hits. I mean, not hit, but we need to get hits. Um, so Jake Junis, if he can get us out of there, there we go. Seven strong innings from him. I'll take that. Um, we need people to get on base. Come on. Uh, facing a couple lefties. So... A double play perfect that's that's a decent little inning from tim hill um i have no idea what to do right here mccarthy man all right it comes down to this against kirby yates okay um a single all right do we have a pinch runner that has a, any kind of speed i don't think we do 64 speeds better um Feel like we kind of have to do it uh come on there's the season there's the season i mean it wasn't terrible we made the playoffs which was huge for us i was not expecting that at all so let's see how season one finishes the rays defeat the dodgers okay wasn't expecting that to happen but any retired players oh alex gordon did not retire hmm and he had a good year that's kind of something i'm uh Ooh, do we bring him back? I can't. We can't. He's going to be like a 23 by the time next season's over with how much he decreased. So, I don't... I'm going to let Billy Hamilton walk, see if there's a better center fielder available. If not, we'll bring him back. Uh, Tommy Hunter, I thought was pretty solid. His potential's gone up. We're definitely going to offer him a contract. We'll do a, a year, though. $4 million for a year is not bad. Jake Diekman... How about a how about a one year 2.5 deal? Smiley was solid. Um, we'll do we'll do another year for five million. That's not terrible at all. Maldonado as a backup. I feel like we 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 have very similar players. I'm gonna let the rest walk though, because I feel like we can find suitable replacements. And we do have some money to spend. So, alrighty, season two time. But we're going to start it off with a trade because our bullpen was kind of trash last year. Actually, our pitching in general was pretty bad. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start it off with a trade for Amir Garrett. His per nines for walks, kind of bad. But strikeouts and hits per nine look really good. And we're going to add him for Glenn Sparkman and Brian Flynn. What I noticed were a lot of our pitchers were like 25 and above in terms of age. And they really weren't that high rated, but they do have B potential. So they actually have some value. So it's not too bad. So we can actually trade them away for some players who could actually help us right now. So let's take a look at how our offseason went. We added Teoscar Hernandez in free agency, who as a center fielder, who is way cheaper and a better hitter than Billy Hamilton. I know that the stats don't show it, but home runs, there's a little bit of power that could potentially get, you know, develop. I think he's a decent little option for a very small contract. I did a three year with 2 million each year. So it's not too bad. Um, 
Ken Judd is our starting left fielder. He looks pretty solid. I think he's going to be a good addition to left field. Um, Durbin Feltman was a long-term reliever. I was thinking, who else do we get? Richie Jarvis. He looks pretty solid for a free agent pickup as well. And then I think that was it. That's it so far. So just, just small deals, just small deals to start. But um, a lot of players developed. Barucky developed. Um, Skoglin developed a little bit. Our bullpen still looks very weak. Very, very weak. Um, but I, I mean, it's not terrible. I feel like we could probably get rid of Dick Lovelady and get a little bit better of a reliever. I, when I look at our our bullpen and stuff here, it's it's not the best. Um, it definitely could get a little bit better. I mean, Brandon Matsuzaka looks really good for the future. Maybe season three, maybe next season. But for right now, I think we could use at least one more bullpen arm. And then when you look at the lineup, I think the lineup looks pretty solid. It's in a good spot where a lot of players are gonna continue to develop like Mondesi, Soler, um, O'Hearn, Dozier. We have Ken Judd. Teoscar Hernandez could develop, Nicky Lopez. So we have a lot of places where we could only get better. And I, I like what we're working with. I think this is a pretty solid team. Um, just to, you know, get the, the groundwork. We got to get it laid down. Got to get that foundation figured out. And then once players either do really poorly, we can trade them away. And then once players continue to do well, then we know that's our core. But I'm, I'm liking what we have so far. Let's get into season two. Actually, I lied. Let's make one more trade for a bullpen arm. Alrighty, so I, we, we don't really have a true closer. We're going to go for Rizel Iglesias. He's got two years left on his deal. I think it gives plenty of time for Brandon Matsuzaka to develop and turn into the closer that we need. So I think this gives him two years to develop. It gives us two years control of a very good closer. And we're getting rid of Jorge Bonifacio. Okay, so after those moves, here's the roster. We brought up Kelvin Gutierrez. So again, not much has changed, but I feel pretty solid. I feel like this team is a lot stronger than it was last year. And I feel like we could definitely do some damage. So let's hop into season two, see how things go. All right, we're going to trade Drew Smiley uh, along with two very low rated players for Adbert Azalai of the Cubs. What I'm thinking is we're going to move Jorge Lopez up. We're going to let Azalai develop a little bit in the minors because Smiley, he's starting to decrease in rating and he's very similar to what Jorge Lopez has. And I'm going to give Jorge Lopez a chance. All right, maybe I need to say we're just going to be a bad team from now on out because, uh, wait, from here on out, that's what we got to do. We just got to say we're going to be bad or we're going to be questionable because what's happening right now is we're creating a very solid Royals team. 101 wins, 61 losses. I mean, we, we are taking on the Yankees, so I mean, it, it is not the best of matchups. But overall, the team is performing so well league leaders saves for Rizal Iglesias so it was a good thing we got a we got a closer because it looks like we were we were in a lot of closing situations Ken Judd rookie of the year we got a gold glove not too worried about that but the rookie of the year I like the sounds of that so Keller sub four ERA which is better than he had last year I mean he's improving his strikeout numbers are low but it's it's not terrible it's not terrible but Rocky that's better he I'm pretty sure improved from last season as well oh yeah definitely Jake Junis those are numbers I want to see. Low three ERA. The whip is very low. That that's nice. I like that. Scogland, not too bad either. Not too bad either. Definitely looks solid. And then Jorge Lopez, not terrible for a five starter at all. A four under a four ERA is very solid. Very solid indeed. Um, Barlow looks good. I like I like what Barlow put up. Ben Lively is not terrible. Um, McCarthy did well. Deekman. It sucks because at the deadline, he had like a 2.2 ERA. And I mean, I guess it just something happened in the second half of the season. Tommy Hunter did very well. Tim Hill struggled a little bit. So maybe we'll put Hunter there. Amir Garrett does very well in this setup role. He's up to an 87, which is awesome. And then Rizal Iglesias. I mean, we got him for one more season. And I like I like the look of uh, his work. I like it a lot. So looking at the squad, Adalberto Mondesi put up another 20 plus home run season. The RBIs and stuff were, wasn't there, but I think last year he was half a leadoff hitter and then half kind of like in the five spot or something like that. So that's probably why he got some more, uh, or he got less RBIs this season. Solaire, those are good numbers. He hit 313, amazing. Where, where a field? Merrifield hit about 300, which is cool to see. O'Hearn as well. Dozier. I mean, everybody hit the ball very well. Um, Teoscar Hernandez struggled a little bit. I'm thinking about moving Brett Phillips into center, unless some crazy good free agents available. Um, but Ken Judd, 
we may have a like a, a real gem right here this looks like a solid pickup for us 77 overall already he's got a potential that's going up I mean, he had an amazing season, almost 20 home runs, 82 RBIs, 300 average. He struck out less than 100 times. I mean, those are some good numbers. So let's hop into these playoffs against the Yankees facing elimination, which is, you know, a, a tough look, a tough look indeed. Uh, but let's just keep going. We're going to let we're going to let Junis take them out. Let's hop into this against the Yankees. A triple. Oh, we got to take advantage of that. Oh, come on. Come on. All right, so this looks like a pretty standard, besides Chad Pinder at short, it's a pretty standard Yankees team. We are down one nothing, which sucks. We could, we should be tied, technically. Uh, that's not good. Um, let's get second. We do get second, but we only we have two outs here. But, okay, we get, we get a little two-run cushion right there. We get a little two-run action going on. So we got a two-run deficit. If we could get a run here, that'd be clutch. Nicky Lopez, you're killing me. Wasted opportunities. We're not taking advantage of him. And that was his last inning. He's dead. He has no more energy. All right, so let's go to Barlow. Let's hope it just we can keep it keep it at four runs. Maybe come back into the game here. Not when we're hitting into double plays. You know what I mean? That's good. That's not. Neither is that or that. So come on. anything anything at all just give me something to work with guys you're, you're killing me where's the offensive production first and second no outs this is what this is what we need ninth inning come on runner thrown out at home not what we needed why didn't we keep it safe <sighs> oh man come on wit ah that's tough that's a tough game put up a little bit of fight a little bit of fight but okay the, we're, we're getting better. We're getting better. I like it. The Phillies defeat the Astros. But, I mean, this team's looking looking like we're going in the right direction for sure. We're, we're creating a pretty solid team. So, exclusive negotiations. I mean, I think we got to give Tommy Hunter one more season. I know I know he was he was part of that Royal, or not Royal, Phillies rebuild. But, I, he's, he's got to be. He's just, he's been clutch for us. J Diekman. I think we're gonna let Deekman walk. I think we are. We got we got quite a bit of lefties already. So I think we'll be okay losing Deekman. Um Arbitration, we only have two. They definitely will get it. And then contracts wise, they're all rookies. We're definitely bringing those back. Okay, so leading into season three, we didn't change too much. I wanted to kind of keep it the same. The only change we did make was we added Daniel Winkler. Um That was it. That's really about it. Cause I feel like we're, we're at a good point. We have a couple players who are about to be ready to join us. Mainly Bobby Witt Jr. That's kind of the player I'm kind of holding off on. Like, Nicky Lopez, I'm thinking about trading. But then I'm like, well, let's just give Bobby Witt Jr. one more season to develop and we should be okay. Looking at the pitching rotation, I mean, these guys aren't too far off. We got Lynch, Singer, Alzali, I mean, Ben Lively, Machado, Oaks. I mean, Matt Suzaka's definitely coming up next year he's a lefty he's gonna help us out in the bullpen so i mean we're we're, we're at a good spot and i don't want to make too many changes just yet i mean maybe send down love lady and we could bring up matt suzaka is that what we do i think that's what we do i think that's what we do indeed so we'll call him up we'll send down richard and that that might be it um We'll just go like that. I, just, I mean, the team did well last year. Not too many changes. I mean, I know we didn't get much better. But, like I said, I feel like there's a very good core with this Royals team. You, ju you just got to nurture them until they're ready to get like to their, to their peak status. So, we'll see how things go. A couple players' contracts do run out, like Solaire and stuff. So, we could always look to improve on those spots once their contracts run out or if we need to trade them. So, we'll see. We'll see how season three plays out. We might make a move at the deadline. Alrighty, so we had to play a, um, a playoff game, you know, like a, a 163 game to get to get into the playoffs. But we are 93 and 70. We won the division, taking on the Astros, and we had to take on the Twins. So you guys can see we had we had a we had a little playoff game there. So let's look at the league leaders. Mondesi had 43 stolen bases, which is which is good. And at the deadline day, I was looking at the team, and there were, there were some question marks for sure. Um, 
like these two guys just really weren't pitching too great um Skogland was one of our better pitchers he had like a low three era like you guys see so he's good um some of these guys are getting up there i mean lynch is up to a 77 so maybe by season five he'll be ready to go um lorenzo vasquez looks decent but i don't know if he'll feature tim hill was struggling mccarthy was struggling um when you look at our bullpen some players were kind of here and there i thought matsuzaka was very good very 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 good um amir garrett was like okay Rizal Iglesias was struggling. So we, we were just in a huge, a huge, just stuff wasn't going the right way. And I didn't want to make too many changes at the deadline day because I felt like we could probably either let players walk and just sign them for, sign new players. And I just, I just feel like we're, we're in a good spot with the players that we have. I didn't want to make too many changes. So, um, Plus, like when you look at who who's going to be able for free agency, Salvador Perez, Rizal Iglesias, we're probably just going to let walk. We're going to try to find a better um, bullpen arm. Tommy Hunter, same thing. We could probably find a new bullpen arm. Solaire, I'm thinking about keeping. He's been pretty consistent with us. And I mean, for a DH, he's like perfect. Um, outside of that, though, most players will come back. I think it was just the bullpen players that I would rather just let them walk. And there's always an abundance of really good bullpen arms available in free agency. So I feel like we could definitely get some good ones there. Mondesi killed it again. O'Hearn, very solid numbers. Dozier, solid numbers. This Ken Judd guy is going to be the best player known to man. Like, he's just so good already. 23 years old. He's a good left fielder. Good pop off the bat. Ooh, this is this one's going to be good. This one's going to be good for sure. Nicky Lopez is here. Um, I'm hoping Bobby Wood Jr. is ready by next year. Oh, man, I, the, the hitting stats are a little worrying. But I think he might be able to play that second base spot very well for us. And we can maybe move Nicky Lopez for uh, maybe even a, a bullpen or, or maybe move him to the bench as like our platoon infielder. We'll have to see. Merrifield struggled a little bit this season. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the offensive performance. It's, as per usual, the bullpen that's kind of question marks. So let's get into this game against or the series against the Astros. And as per usual we are struggling we're struggling we're facing elimination we'll go to skogland and let's let's do this come on we gotta we gotta we gotta score first that'll be the key we gotta score first and we do we do okay double play awesome so looking at their lineup it looks the same just justin smoke and sandy leon are new additions to the squad so a tie ball game a double Ooh, that's a good start so we just we we if we get score like runners in scoring position we got to take advantage of it that's going to be the big the big issue here if we can't do that we're going to we're going to struggle taking it on Forrest Whitley we're going to let Sandy Leon take us deep <sighs> there we go Salvador Perez that's what we needed we got a one run lead um i feel like we can't we can't take the chances Mir Garrett's going to come on and we're getting tricky spots, tricky spots for sure. Amir Garrett's struggling right now. Um, lively, sack fly, fielder's choice, stolen base, walk. <sighs> Gives up the lead. Man, Amir Garrett put us in a really bad spot. Uh, we're down three in the ninth. And again, we just can't make it past that first round. And I mean, the bullpen let us down. Like Amir Garrett, bases loaded with no outs. Like we can't, we can't do that. That's, that's a struggle right there. So we got to, we got to figure out this bullpen situation. So negotiations, Iglesias, we're going to let walk. He, he was going down anyways he was he had 10 blown saves this year oh my god um so Lair, i did say i wanted to bring back um we'll give him a player option see if whew. um you know what yeah we'll do it i feel like that's that's okay yeah it's not a bad contract um Soler or not Soler, salvador perez 
he may not hit the ball amazing but catchers are pretty tough to come by with like good offensive attributes so let's get into it let's see how things are looking 40 man we don't have to worry about it amir garrett you let me down a lot this year the last two seasons solid this season just oh man i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna trust you man um and then tim hill won't he just it's time to let him go and then everybody is getting a contract all righty so this season we're gonna start with the trade we're gonna be acquiring john brevia of the cardinals for trevor oaks alan de san miguel and peter stemley um oaks is 29 and 74 overall that's kind of the thing we we need bullpen help as per usual it just always seems that way um so we're gonna do that i'm gonna see if we can find a little bit more bullpen help um there were a couple good options in free agency i did pick up one of them um our and then our starting rotation definitely got a little bit stronger i'll show you guys that in a second but let's make a couple more trades all right another trade we're gonna go richard love lady heath Fillmeyer, and kevin mccarthy for trey wingenter and jose castillo of the padres a lefty and a righty we're adding to the bullpen let me get the lineup let me get the rotation and starting rotation all sorted and then uh, i'll show you guys what we're looking like all righty so as you can see we've added someone pretty solid to our starting rotation noah Syndergaard. he's gonna be our ace and i feel like that's what we were kind of lacking with our starting rotation was a true ace we have keller Junis, Skogland, and Barucki behind them. Um, when we look at some of our prospects, we definitely could add, um, we probably could trade one of them and get even stronger at the starting rotation. But at season four, we're going to leave it like this. And then if we really need to, we can always trade uh, a couple of those prospects to get a really solid uh, starter. Jorge Lopez is going to be our long reliever. We have Matsuzaka, Wingenter, Castillo, Brebia, Garrett, Bear Claws, a new addition, and Daniel Winkler. So, I mean, you look at the bullpen. This is the strongest one we've had so far. I feel like this should, this is like, we can actually like solidify stuff for once and we don't have to freak out and worry that we're going to suck. So looking at our lineup, we got Merrifield, Mondesi, Judd, Dozier, O'Hearn, Perez, Soler, Teoscar Hernandez, and Bobby Witt Jr. is our second baseman. Um, this is Teoscar Hernandez's last season. So we'll see if he does anything. If not, we will 100% be looking for a new center fielder. I feel like that's our biggest issue and it has been this entire rebuild um in terms of the lineup otherwise the lineup's been fantastic so yeah that's that's about it um we don't really have any other crazy good prospects to look out for lester's just not a good hitter um he does have really good trade value so he may be a trade piece for a new center fielder if need be and in actuality that might be the move right now let's see if we can do something Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to trade Brett Phillips, Michael Gigliotti, and, or Gigliotti, and Lester Moyer for Christian Pache, Patch, I think it's Pache because he's Dominican, but I could be wrong, um, 80 overall, A potential, 23 years old, his hitting stats, I mean, they're very comparable to his, I mean, I feel like he's six years younger, that's wrong, yeah, he's six years younger, wow, I can do math, so, this it's it's not a trade i wanted to do i wanted to keep uh brett phillips rather than trade him i would have rather traded um teoscar hernandez but unfortunately just it just didn't work out that way so this is how we're gonna line up um i feel like we should be good but who knows uh like we've really strengthened that bullpen we added some good bats let's get into it season four we just scraped by we won the wild card and uh 98 and 64 which i mean the record is not bad i mean i just some the white Sox must have just oh we missed it by two games i thought it was gonna be worse and i mean the wild card was pretty close too it was a one game difference so i mean we it was it was a close one Syndergaard pitched very well and i'm glad we picked him up because that's what we needed we got a rookie of the year and we got a cy young so that's good to see so I, I said we scraped by and it, I mean it does make sense we we I mean we just barely made the wild card by a game so that was that was a close one so looking at everybody Merrifield's like 270 is not bad I'm not and I mean he's hitting 30 home runs I mean I guess that's not bad that's actually really good yeah I'm not I'm not upset about that at all Mondesi's still doing you know mid-20s home runs with the, which is awesome Judd is hitting over 300 dozier still you know 30 plus home runs so even though his average has been down for this season i'm not gonna freak out about that or hern similar situation actually 
he hit the ball well too he had a high average which is awesome salvador perez has been very consistent you know 250 60 area with 20 home runs that's fine solaire has been amazing for us this is this is what we needed from him just to be a really solid power hitter and he's doing that christian pache pache patch whatever we want we're calling him christian from now on he hit 260 but 21 home runs i mean i'm liking that and then bobby wood jr at second base looks like an absolute animal he hit 266 with 22 home runs he's definitely a lot an upgrade on nicky lopez so far um i mean he in his first season he has already eclipsed Nicky Lopez's best home run total. And I mean, the average was better on base percentage, so on and so forth. So lineup wise, I think we're set. I think we really found that 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 group of guys that we're really like set with. This, we don't need to change the lineup. We just got to hope that our bullpen can carry us because I have a feeling that's where we had our biggest issue. So Brad Keller, very good season. He's just not a strikeout guy and that's fine. He's pitching very well. Jake Junis, same thing. Very, very strong um scoglin eh. you know i mean for a four and five i'm i'm not freaking out baraki might be a player i look to replace you know jorge lopez not the best maybe daniel lynch comes up his per nines aren't that great al's alive maybe he comes up he could be a player that does it machado machado could be another guy too so we do have options we do have options for sure um let's take a look so bear claw struggled very much so which sucks because we just gave him a good contract. We just traded for Wingenter. He didn't pitch that well. Castillo did well. Brebia did pretty solid. Winkler struggled. I think his contract runs out this year. We're going to let him walk most likely. Amir Garrett was okay. Um, not the best, but okay. And then Matt Suzaka is our closer. He's our man. He's shutting down the games like no one else can. Like He's the man right now. He's what we needed, and it's looking perfect. So, all right wild card game season four we gotta we gotta win something right we gotta just we gotta have something go in our favor um i mean their lineup looks the same they got joey uh Rykard, starling castro and marisnik that's those are some new names but uh we got we we need to score early and we need to score a lot since it seems like we struggle to score runs in postseason games we're going against shane bieber they're up one nothing so double play are you kidding me and it's like when we do have opportunities to score our bats just go completely quiet first and second with one out like we should score here and we don't like those are those are scoring opportunities that we need to take advantage of i mean both pitchers are pitching very well a double come on merrifield there we go tie ball game that's what we needed um Syndergaard, go one more for me perfect this is this is our inning come on first and third solaire uh, all right we're gonna go with uh we'll go brebia really brebia all you had to do was help me out here we're taking on brad hand <sighs> what we just can't do it this team's cursed i don't get it I don't get it. The Athletics defeat the Brewers. That's an interesting one for sure. Um, we got quite a few openings in the coaching spots. <sighs> Man, that's that's a rough one. So we're going to let Winkler go. It sucks because he's had two very solid seasons. And then he just sucks it up. All right. So Kyle Bearclaw exercise, whatever. Um let's 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 take a look uh we gotta add all those guys to the 40 man so looking at arbitration brebia i want to punch you in the face but we'll bring you back anyways um i don't know about teoscar hernandez and then obviously everybody else is going to get a contract really the only one i'm not too sure about for arbitration was hernandez all righty kyle Barraclaw, he failed us so we're going to go for jacob barnes of the brewers his stats are very similar to Barraclaw. it's just um, his home runs per nine are a little bit better. His clutch and his control are a little bit better as well. So we get a new reliever there. All right, we're going to trade for Coda Glover. Ryan Barucki and Trey Wingenter are going to be traded as well. I looked at Wander Suero, but we're going to try Coda Glover. It's a new player that I, I think we've only had like once or twice. So we might as well give him a shot. So you guys can see how we're looking. Um, Let's go Coda Glover instead of Castillo there. And you guys can see Jose Barrios has joined us. We got Syndergaard, Keller, Skogland, and Junis. 
and then this is our bullpen it it looks very strong but you guys know how things work it looks strong but who knows who really knows what's gonna happen um so there's that and then when you look at the lineup nothing has changed i, I looked to see if there were any other options we could do but I felt like we should strengthen our, our our bullpen and starting rotation a little bit more since our offense is very, very good. We have multiple players hitting 25-plus home runs, close to 100 RBIs a season. It's just our pitching is letting us down every single year. So um, I guess when we come to the playoffs, our, our offense does kind of quiet down, which I don't understand. But that's how we're looking. Season five, we need to make it past the wild card, the first round of the playoffs, something because I feel like we're just we're just getting let down. We're letting this we're letting Kansas City down. So we got it. We got to change that this year. Let's get into it. All right, we're back on top in the division. We are 98 and 64. We're taking on the Red Sox. So again, not an easy matchup. I mean, it's just we can't we can't find anything like good we just can't find that little that little stroke of luck we need something um but merrifield had the most stolen bases or hearn had the most rbis dozier was up there with batting average hits for merrifield runs for merrifield dozier for slugging percentage and then jose barrios i already know was disgusting on the mound i'm talking lights out ace material just gross so dozier silver slugger hank aaron Syndergaard was a gold glove Cy Young for Jose Barrios, and then Delivery Man of the Year, Brandon Matsuzaka. So this guy that we drafted season one has been probably one of the best closers in baseball for the last couple seasons. So Jose Barrios, sub one whip, 226 ERA. His strikeouts was higher than his ERA. That's just gross. 231 innings, 19 and 6. Syndergaard, look at that one-two punch right there is amazing. Probably the best in baseball right now. And you got Keller, who did very well. Skogland, a little high on the ERA and whip. Same with Jorge Lopez. We moved him up because Junis was... He was he was struggling a bit as well. You guys can see that. And then you guys look at some of these pitchers we have down here. I mean, we're, we're stacked. And then even our, our bullpen's got, got a couple good guys over there as well. We moved up Scott Barlow in the long relief role. He did quite well. Castillo struggled a bit. Brebia did quite well. Barnes did very well. And then we look at Amir Garrett... He was actually doing a lot better at the start, um, the first half of the season. It looks like he kind of cooled off the second half. Same with Coda Glover. He had a low three first half of the season. So, oh boy, it's looking like our, it's looking like the the bullpen's a little scary right now. And then Brandon Matsuzaka. Look at those stats, and he throws gas. His four seam is at 97 miles an hour. Just, just gross. And then when we look at his stats, I mean. Look, look at those stats. Ooh. The, ooh, that just makes... Ooh, 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 those are nice. Um, Whit Merrifield, a phenomenal year. 30 bombs, 317 average. Mondesi struggled this season. He definitely did. Um, average on base percentage went down. I mean, his on base percentage the last two seasons has been pretty abysmal. Ken Judd is still just very, very consistent. I mean, look at those numbers. Just very consistent. O'Hearn is a beast. Holy cow. I usually trade him, but man, he was a good option to keep. Same with Hunter Dozier. He's been amazing for us as well. 329 average, an OPS of 1039, which is disgusting. So Lair's looking like he's cooling off a little bit, um, which I think we only have like, what, a couple years left on the contract. So maybe a player we would look to trade in the future, open up some salary space. And then we got Perez, who he's got a pretty big contract for the next couple years, which is, again, disappointing, but probably a player we could trade. Um, Christian Pache struggled, struggled for sure, but he's still very young. He's going to develop and uh, pretty sure he's got a couple more years of arbitration too. And then Bobby Witt Jr. Average went down and everything else, but his home runs and RBIs are very consistent. The doubles, everything is very good. It just looks like he struck out quite a bit. And when you look at some of our bench bats, you got Gutierrez, you got Matias who can slot in for, you know, Soler. I mean, he's got a little bit of pop off the bat as well. Nicky Lopez is there, Cam Gallagher. We are a very deep team, and that that's a good thing to have. There's, that means you can lose players because you can't afford contracts, but then you still got that youth that you can bring up and make it a very strong lineup. So let's hop into it. Let's take a look. Um, actually, let's, let's just take a quick look at the, the minor roster, the minor leagues 
um, just so you guys can see kind of what we're working with. The catchers, you got Melendez, who's a very solid backup. Um, you got Nicky Lopez. Um, Gutierrez is there. Shortstop, you're a little weak. Um, outfield, a little weak after we traded a couple of those players. But we got Matias, we got Jarvis. So the outfield is probably our strongest part. And I guess the lineup's, a, you know, probably a little weak. So you could probably draft a couple players. But pitching is probably our deepest spot now. So Jacob DeGrand, Jose Barrios, we take a loss. Chris Sale, Noah Syndergaard, we win that one. We win this one. Please. Please. No. We're home. We're going to have Barrios take the mound. All right. So looking at their lineup, Naquin's new. Um, Alfaro's new, Ramirez is new, Garcia's new, Bishop's new. So like half the lineup's brand new. Okay, we get on with it. Ooh, a, basically a double because of the error. We got to take advantage. We do first and second with one out. All right, so we, we do take the early lead though. That's all that I, that's all I want. I want the early lead. I want to hold on to it. Come on, we got a two run bomb. Ken Judd, there we go. Three run lead. Come on, let's get out of this. No runs, no damage done. We're taking on Chris Sale. So I just noticed that one. All right, come on. Let's get on base. Let's let's work these counts. No, we don't want that. We want to work the counts against Chris Sale. That's what we want to do. <sighs> come on. There's a good single. Can we... All right, Barrios is probably on his last inning right there. Can we get another run? We can't. All right, so eighth inning, we're going to go to... We're going to go to Barnes. All right, caught stealing. That's good. And then do we go to the lefty? I feel like we need to just to play the matchups. We get out of it. There we go. Matt Barnes comes in. Ooh, we got a, we got a base runner. We just couldn't do anything with this. So ninth inning. All right, Matsuzaka. I've been, I've been saying so much like positives about you. Please do not go and ruin this. There we go. We advance. We advance for once. And there's a good start. All right. So I know Barrios just pitched. So I'm gonna move him down a couple spots, and we're gonna we're gonna go like this. And then Scoglin struggled, so we're gonna shake things up a bit. So let's go the Rays. Okay. Okay. Two two one. Ooh. No. Facing elimination again, man. No, we can't have this. We need to win these games. All right, Syndergaard's on the mound for us. Come on. All right, looking at their lineup really quick, it's it's a pretty standard raise lineup. Bases loaded. We get out of that. Ooh, that was not good that we just hit into a double play. Because think about it, we probably would have scored a run there if we didn't hit into that double play. And another double play. And then a home run by Willie Adamas. Oh, man. All right, we get out of that jam. A double. Come on. Just bring him home. He's got the speed. A base hit would have brought him home. See, there we go. Tie ball game. Double play. That that hurts. Bases loaded. Mondesi, please. One run scores. Grand slam, Ken Judd. That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right, five innings from Syndergaard, which is good. Like, that's, that's a good outing. I might push it. Oh, we pushed it. We got a five-run lead. So, um, all right. Yeah, you're done, bud. Sorry. Uh, let's go to the lefty, Castillo. Castillo gets us out. We do have a three-run lead, though. That's not the best of situations. Eighth inning, we got we got like a string of righties and lefties coming up. So it's like a mix. But we get out of it. Lorenzen comes in. Okay. First and second. Bases loaded. One run scores. All right, we get a little insurance run. Um, perfect. All right, one game away from a World Series. Can the Royals pull it together? Can we do it? That would be clutch. Um, We're get, I mean, just because Barrios, I want him ready for game one of the World Series. Let's do it. All right, we get out of that. A double base hit scores him. That's all we need, a base hit. Just couldn't do it. Oh, man, that sucks. Runner was thrown out. Oh, man. 
All right, so still 0-0. Can we steal second? We do. Runner in scoring position. Come on, we're going against Blake Snell. We take that early lead, and then it's gone. Just like, just like that. All right, that sucks. Double play gets us out of that inning. Okay, a little. We had some speed. I mean, Dozier's not the slowest, but just couldn't. You, you gotta hurt me like that, MLB. You really gotta hurt me like that, huh? All right, come on. We can do it. It's only the sixth. We get a walk and then a double play. Come on. All right, that was his last inning through seven. I mean, two runs is not bad. We got to get... We got to we gotta help him out here. Come on. String of lefties. We're going to go to Garrett. All right, three strikeouts. He strikes out the side. We got six outs to get this win. All right, here it is. It all comes down to this. That's not a good start. Neither is that. Come on, Mondesi. Uh, no. That sucks. That sucks so much. All right, who wins it? The Rockies defeat the Rays. So close. But um, we'll take a look at our budget just to kind of see who's leaving, who's staying. I mean, when you look at the squad, Perez is a player you could pros like trade away. Soler is a player you could trade away. Um, Merrifield, I would let go just because he's going to decrease in rating. You can always find a better outfielder. You have Suli Matias who's coming up. Barnes is a player you could bring back. Keller's, you know, probably a player that's expendable with how many good pitchers you have in the farm system. Mondesi is a must bring back. And I mean, it you you have you have some money to play with especially with a lot of these free agents like coming up and you have some good youth prospects i think this team's still set up with a good solid core and i had a lot of fun with it and it sucks that we lost that game seven that's that one hurts a lot so guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's rebuild if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content we're, we're approaching that 15k mark let's try to hit it by the end of the month and again that's going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.